Lori Lineberry here with your Spot of God for the week. Today I'm sharing a devotion from Guidepost. John Newton, writer of the hymn Amazing Grace, was converted as a slave trader. While at sea in the middle of a violent storm, he prayed for God's mercy. The storm calmed and he reached port. Newton then began reading the Bible and avoiding drinking, gambling, and profanity. In time, he realized the slave trade was evil and gave up his participation in it. He was eventually ordained a priest in the Church of England. In Greek, the word for grace is charis, C-H-A-R-I-S, which means a gracious favor or benefit. The law came through Moses and grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. And this grace and truth shows us that the sum and substance of the law is love. When an expert in the law asked Jesus which commandment was the greatest, Jesus said this, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Through reading scriptures such as this, Newton must have realized he could not continue to trade slaves. While the law of the land did not prohibit slavery, the law of love, which Jesus taught, did not allow it. How can you enslave someone whom you love? In time, Newton disavowed his association with the demonic slave trade and became an abolitionist. In appreciation for God's grace and firmly holding to the promise that no sin is too great to be forgiven. Remember that. Newton changed his life, and so can we. God be with you.